Hi everyone, it's Kathy and welcome to today's workout. So for today's workout, we are doing strictly strength and strictly legs. So typically in a lot of my workouts, I like to do compound moves, where I add an upper to a lower, say bicep curl lunges or squat rows, things like that. Those really are very metabolic, they get the heart rate up fast, um, and they work multiple muscle groups at one time. But today we're gonna break it down and we're gonna do strictly a leg, strictly an arm, strictly a leg, strictly an arm. All right, so we're gonna be able to focus on each muscle group at that specific time. Um, we're gonna do a little bit heavier focus on the legs today rather than the arms. However, we're gonna be working every single muscle group in the upper body as well. So if you have a platform or a step, risers, whatever, um, that would be useful. However, if you don't have it, there's only a few exercises we'll be using it. So if you don't have one, there's no worries there. Um, but it's gonna add a little something, something to the workout today. All right, so I'm gonna be working with some 20s, some 15s, and some 12s. I'm gonna be using the 20s for some of the legs because remember, legs respond really well to um, heavier weights. It's not about getting big and bulky. It's just about the muscles responding in the best way possible. All right, so let's get our warm up underway. We're just gonna start with a typical squat. So we're gonna squat, we're gonna reach those arms up in front. You're gonna clap them behind your back. Reach and clap. Reach and clap, good work. Reach and clap reach and clap beautiful stay here nice really get that full range of motion from the front to the back you got it and breathe it out last eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one, we're gonna sink into a side lunge. You're gonna reach all the way down. You're gonna shoot those arms up. We're gonna go with the other side. Shoot them up, sink that booty back. Nice, get nice and low. Breathe in and out, that head should be facing forward. Core is strong, relax your shoulders down and up. Remember this is a lateral lunge. So one leg is bending, knee is tracking, other leg is straight. Perfect. Reach up, down, up. When you bring those arms up overhead, think of squeezing your shoulder blades together, feeling that stretch in your core. Nice work. Perfect. We're going four more. Three left. Two. And last one here. All right. Now, if you have a step, you can use it here, otherwise just stay on the floor. We're gonna go into a bicep curl reverse lunge. Alternating stepping back, chin and chest high. We're just kind of mimicking a bicep curl here with those arms. Breathe in and out. Good. Alternating lunge. Lowering that back knee, keeping that chest up. An elevated surface is always gonna get the heart rate up just a little bit more. Perfect. Come on, stay with me. Good, we're gonna do six more from here. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, if you have that step, stay with it. We're just gonna go into a jack arm with a knee left. Lift and lower. So if you don't have that platform, you're just gonna lift a knee, alternating sides, you got it. Excellent, reach it up. Just warming up those shoulders. Nice work, up and down. Breathe. Last set of six right here for six, five, four, three, two more, two, here's last one, right here, roll those arms, and we're gonna come into a wide sumo stance, we're just gonna give myself a little bit of chest fly, so you're gonna fly those arms out, and just sink into that nice sumo stance, so your arms are low, and then they're coming up into a little bit of a fly in front, so I'm thinking of my pinkies touching towards each other, at the top, yep. 
Good, nice and low. Reach it up. Awesome. Nice. Awesome, four more. Three left. Two here. Good job, and one right here. Now we're just gonna come into some little scissor taps. All right, right here, scissors. So we're tapping with those feet. Now I'm gonna add a little tap down every third tap. So it's one, two, down. One, two, down. Head up. Let those fingers come down. Ah, so you're kind of in a split stance, yes? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, shake it out. Just gonna end in a little bit of a chair squat. So I want those feet, flat to the sides of your feet together, quads together, inner thighs together. You're gonna sink into a squat. You're gonna bring those arms up right next to your ears and you are gonna hold. Heads forward, abs are in. Good, just hold it here. <sighs> Breathe, nice work. You only got 10 more seconds here. Can you sit a tiny bit lower? You're gonna feel a little bit of those quads firing up in three, two, and one. Nice, grab a stretch here, pull those shoulders back. Nice, grab an inhale, I'm gonna turn my fan on here. Good job. Stretch it out, just bring your foot, to bring yourself to your platform if you have it. Otherwise, just bring one heel to the floor. Sink down, give yourself a little stretch here. Feel that uh, firing stretch up the back of your leg into your calf. Nice, so come up, you're just gonna take that leg straight back. If you have that platform, you can come into a hinge forward here, press the back of your heel to the floor. Awesome. And then just bring that foot in, just give yourself a little hug here and a reach overhead. Point the toe and flex it, point and flex. And switch it out. So you're just gonna switch the other leg, hinge forward, feel that stretch. Awesome, all right, we're gonna take that leg directly behind you, all the way to the floor, press the heel to the floor, hinge forward. You're gonna feel a little bit deeper stretch back there. Perfect, now you're just gonna step that leg in, you're gonna hug it, you're gonna lift the opposite arm up, point your toe, flex your heel, point your toe, flex your heel, and let's just come into some shoulder rolls right here. Breathe, and shoulder rolls forward. All right, if you need some water, I want you to grab it. Otherwise, I am going to um, grab a set of weights here. I'm actually gonna use 15s to start. So we're gonna go into one, one minute. So our legs are all gonna be a minute. Our arms are gonna be about 30 seconds each, okay? So our first leg is going to be a squat into a lateral lunge. So you'll always squat, then you'll lateral lunge alternating sides. So go with the weight that you can handle. Push yourself a little bit here. We're going in three, two, one. Squat, stand, lateral. Back to your squat, squat, stand, Lateral. So our goal here isn't to rush this move, rather to get nice and deep into each component of that leg. Good. So notice when I come into my squat, it's kind of a narrower squat, it's not real wide. My feet should be lined up with my shoulders, sinking down and my head is always going to be facing forward. Good, you're halfway through, 30 more seconds. Good work. Just focusing on those legs. This is a good one because it's targeting a lot of different muscle groups. Excellent, you've got 10 more seconds here. Keep the head neck neutral, abs and neutral, strong. Good job. Beautiful, let's do one more each way. One more side. And one more squat. Nice, all right. Shake it out. Now we're gonna go into a shoulder. So I'm gonna grab my 12s here. So this is a double whammy shoulder. So we're gonna come into a narrow press. Weights are slightly in front of our shoulders. We're gonna come up, 
Then we're going to go to a wide military press back up to a narrow. Alternating between the two, 30 seconds. If you need to stagger your stance for more support through your back, please do so. Here we go in three, two, one. Here we go. Up. Now I want you to try to focus on no movement below your waistline. All right, I want this to be strictly your arms. Remember to stagger your stance if you need to, focusing just on those shoulders here. Wide to narrow. Awesome. Perfect job. We're gonna do one more right here. Narrow, press into a wide press. Awesome work. All right, weights are down. Now we're gonna come do our step if you have it, otherwise you'll stay on the floor. And we're going to do one minute of alternating reverse lunges. Your option here is weights by your side or weights by your shoulder. All right, one minute, here we go. Alternate lunge. So I don't want you looking down, I want you looking straight forward. Bend your back knee, push through it, come right back up. By racking these weights, we're working our legs a little bit differently, but by all means, put these to your side, or if it's even too much for you, do it with no weights. Heart rate's gonna come up on this. Don't, don't worry about that heart rate, all right? Knowing that that heart rate is booming tells you that you're alive. Good, come on. Stay with me here. This is your last 10 seconds. I'm starting to hop and puff here. Awesome work. You got two more, come on, right here. Last one. Nice. All right. Woo! I'm gonna stay with my heavier hand weight here. Now we're gonna do a plank row. So you have an option here. Level one, you can stay here. Give me rows on each side. All right, level two, you can do the same thing to the floor. Or if you have your platform, you'll plank row right here in an elevated surface. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. So pick your poison. All right, here we go. Plank rows, booty down, abs in, body positioned over that. Wait, here we go, 30 seconds. Full range of motion. Elbow to the sky, squeeze. Yeah. Nice. Now, if you're really having trouble here, you can bring that leg down, or you can tabletop this if you need to, too. So keep going here, 10 seconds to the side. Body is positioned over. Yep. Finish one more, and down. Now, because this is a higher incline surface for me, I'm really feeling it in my core. All right, switch to the other side. 30 seconds, your way. Here we go. Now that arm that's supporting you, you wanna make sure that that wrist and elbow is in a straight alignment. Nice wide base and those legs really help support your core. Breathe here. Ah. Three, two, and one. Woo, felt that one. All right, so I'm gonna grab my heavier weights here. If you need some water, grab it. Now we're gonna go into a kind of a tiptoe staggered stance into a split lunge. A split lunge is just a halfway lunge. All right, so you're gonna tiptoe this. You're gonna squat tiptoe, so it's a kind of a split squat. So instead of going all the way back here, you're gonna go halfway and then coming in, kind of like a kickstand. It's a constant movement. It's 30 seconds one leg, 30 seconds the other. All right, here we go. I want a little bit heavier in my weights, head up, squat, split, squat, split, squat, split. So my front leg, I'm feeling my quad. Up, but your booties work 
you here too. Come on, 10 seconds this side. Now, depending on the weight selection you have, depends on how hard uh, you're working and how where you feel this. Last one, and shake it out. Switching legs, you got 30 seconds, getting ready to the other side. Here we go. Tiptoe, split. Tiptoe, split. Knee is always tracking over your front. Ankle, shoelaces. Feeling the sweat beads now. Have a deep lunge, come on. Halfway, one more. Weights down, yikes. Awesome, okay. Medium heavy weights, we're gonna go into a chest fly. So the arms are gonna be by your side, we're gonna slightly behind you. You're gonna fly them up, touch your pinkies, and then stretch them back again. All right, gonna maybe need to lighten your load just a bit. Here we go in three, two, one. Stretch back, fly up. Now you're not bending your elbows, you're not curling here. We're working through that pec. Arms slightly away from your body. Get that back swing. I should say, not a back swing, but you wanna get that back extension. Pull back so you get a bigger bang for your buck in that chest. Come on. Look at those pinkies coming together. Brace your abs. Two more. And one more here. Nice work. Okay. We're gonna go into a sumo, by, uh, uh, sumo um, squat. We're gonna add a component to this, and I'm gonna show you your two levels. Feet are wide, toes are slightly flared out. You're going to bring the weights down, and you're gonna stand up, and you're gonna bring the weights and pick them up. Now level two, when you drop off, you'll give me a hop, you'll go back down and pick them up. This is one minute, so make sure you pace yourself here. Toes flared out, I don't want you hinging forward. All right, let's go. One minute starts now. You drop off, you stand, you drop off. Now you can hop as well. You pick your poison, but you're taking your time here. I want you to really feel that muscle. I don't want you to rush it. Now I've got 20 pounds here on each hand, so that's 40 pounds. Perfect. Squeeze those glutes. Up. 15 seconds. Inner thigh, outer thigh, booty. Heart. Give me one more here. Awesome. Okay. So now I'm gonna drop down to just a little bit lighter here. I'm gonna go into 15s. We're coming into our bicep. Woo! All right, so here's what we got. We're gonna just hold into a semi sumo position. It's not deep wide, but holding here. You're gonna go up and center, alternating between the two of them. You're not deep down here. You're kind of in a sumo hold where you're just slightly putting that booty back, arm up. All right, 30 seconds, here we go. Yeah. Alternate between the two. Now make sure you're getting that full range of motion all the way down, all the way up. Good work. How you doing? Love it. You're gonna do one more each way after this. Here we go, outward and inward. Woo! Okay. We are gonna go into a one minute leg and we've got 30 seconds. 
of a tricep push-up. All right, so here's what you got, guys. Feet together. Remember we did that chair squat in the beginning? So we're gonna come into that chair squat. You're gonna sink down. You're gonna lift one leg out in front, balancing on one side. Every 10 seconds, you will switch. All right, so one minute. Core strong, abs in, feet together. Here we go, sink it down, lift one leg, bring it out. Now you can also do this by a tiptoe. Extend it out, breathe, abs are in, heads forward, and switch. Stay low, balancing out. You're gonna feel this a little bit more in that quad, that booty's working too, hamstring in, switch. Smooth transition, nice. Keep that body, that weight evenly distributed, switch. Beautiful, switch it out. After this, you'll have one more switch. How you feeling? Not so bad, right? Here we go, switch it out. Ah. Last five seconds, four, Three, two, one. All right, now if you have your platform music, if not, you could just do this on the floor. I want those hands narrow. I'm gonna be doing this on my knees. All right, so all I want you to do is I want you to lower and press. Notice how my elbows are glued to my rib cage. All right, focusing on my triceps. 30 seconds, your way. Here we go. Down and up. The step still works great because it's narrow. So it really helps to keep my body in a really good alignment. Lower and press. Feel free to do this full body. Now the reason I'm doing this on my knees is my shoulders have been kind of been a little tweaky here and there and I've had rotator cuff. So I try not to push the envelope too much so I can teach these classes for you. You got two more. You got one more and sit back, stretch. Perfect. All right, let's come up. Let's grab some water and let's go to round number two. How you doing, okay? Perfect. So here's where it gets a little interesting. We're gonna do exactly the same thing. There'll be a little bit of a twist at the, at the arm portion, okay? So we're gonna add on to that arm portion just a bit after we do this in complete circuit. So actually, you probably didn't even need to know that. So don't worry your pretty little head. All right, we're going to squat, side lunge, one minute. Grab the heaviest weights you can handle. Breathe, squat, side lunge, one minute, in three, two, one. Here we go, down, side, squat, Side, I want you to really focus here. Each component should be the best you can give me. That's really something I shouldn't even need to say because you should always be giving me the best. One more side lunge, one more squat. Perfect. Whew. Okay, noticing that heart rate, right? Okay, we're going into those narrow press, wide press. 30 seconds. Whew. All right, felt my heart rate on those. All right, here we go. I'm gonna amp up my game just a bit. I'm gonna go into 15s here. So it's um, narrow wide. Three, two, one, here we go. Up, remember to stagger your stance if you need to. Try not to use your lower body. It's gonna 
the double whammy in the delts. Good. Keep going. I'm gonna tack on just a tiny bit of time here. We're gonna do one more. So I might have had you gone a little bit longer. Prime your river. And down. Okay, we're going into those reverse lunge. So roll those shoulders. I'm gonna stay with my heavier weights here. On your shoulders is harder. On or off your platform if you have one. One minute's gonna start in three, two, one. Rack them up if you can. Sit back, stretch, or step back. So this can be done on the floor, just as easy. Want that gaze forward, you want you to really focus on bending that back knee, pressing off and coming right back up. Bring a lot more core if you're in the racked position. Your body re responds differently than by your side. Ah. Biceps work harder here too. Woo. Anybody starting to feel these? Yeah, 10 seconds. One more each leg. Nice. Wow. Shake that out. All right. Woo. Okay, going into our plank rows. Either on the floor, or like I said, just getting into those static rows right here. Pick a weight. Pick a side. Okay, we've got five seconds here. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Don't turn your body. The weight's evenly distributed. Focus. 15 seconds. Do you feel your body here? Yes? Come on. Up. Two more. My arms are shaking a bit. And switch. The one thing that was a little rough for me is that there's like some little nibbies on here. <laughs> so they're digging into my hands. So I was really feeling that. All right, so if you have a platform or a stepper, those have those little bridges in them too. And you get those nice little lines in your hand. All right, so we're taking it to the other side. Here we go. 30 seconds. Yeah, that feels a little better. Squeeze, full range of motion. Neck long. Concentrate on pulling the elbow up. Squeezing the shoulder blades. Up. Feel each and every part of this. Here's your halfway point. 
Stationary legs getting a lot of work, but the moving leg is too. Core's working hard. Shoulder stabilizers are working too to support those weights. Last one right here. So I don't know about any of you, but Surrey just went off. Does your Surrey ever go off just randomly? Creepy as all get out, right? All right, switching legs right here. Tiptoe, split, here we go. Heads forward, push back. So the leg exercises in this workout today, really focusing on the full work. So we've got calves working, we've got quads, we've got hamstrings, we've got glutes, we got booty, One more here, and done. Okay, going into chest flies. I call these pinky flies, because you're bringing those pinkies in. Lighten up your load just a bit. Smile. Now make sure those arms are away from your body here. This isn't your starting point, they're back here. So you wanna get this stretch right there. All right, if you've ever done a standing cable fly, you know what I'm talking about. All right, roll those shoulders back, abs are in, arms up. Remember, you're bringing those pinkies towards each other. If you need to stagger your stance, do it. Three, two, one, fly. Remember, this isn't a curl. Straight arms. Stretch right here and lift. Lift, stretch, lift. 15 seconds. Match your breath. Four, three, two, one. Yeah. Woo. I roll it off. All right, so we've got our one minute sumo drop off pickup, optional jump. I'm gonna go heavy again. All right, toes are flared out, head is upright. When you sink down, I want you to make sure you're lowering down here and not lowering down here with that head down and working through your low back. All right, here we go, drop off pickup. Three, two, one down, up. Remember that up portion can be a squat, just like this. Up, squeeze your inner thighs. Pop. Now, if you have lighter weights, you can go a little faster. But I don't want you to compromise form for speed. I want you to feel each and every one of these. You're at the halfway point. Yeah. Ooh, half 15 seconds. Oh, feeling these. One more. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go into that top end sumo. Double bicep, out and in. I'm gonna grab some water here. Portion, okay? I just want you to kind of get into a little bit of a static positioning here. So here's what I'm going to look like. My knees are over my ankles. I'm just going to hold here. All right, so that is your starting point. 
Belly in, sink that booty back. Arms are long. Elbows in, 30 seconds, go. Inside, outside. Full range of motion, all the way down, all the way out. Mm. Working two different heads of that bicep. Two more. One. One. Two. And two. Okay. Going into our chair squat. Alternate leg lift. Ten seconds each leg lift. Tricep push up. Right. Now, if you want to make this a little more challenging, grab a weight to hold on to. Otherwise, if that was challenging for you enough, don't grab the weight. All right. Roll those shoulders back more. This is one minute. Feet start together. Inner thighs together, knees together. Sink down as low as you can go. Pick one leg up and hold. Heads forward. Push that butt back. You're not coming out of this. You're just going to transition legs in three, two, one. Switch. Ten seconds. I can feel my ankle kind of shaking. Four, three, two, and switch. So the transition should be smooth. Abs should be in. Can you get down any bit lower? And switch. How are you doing? You still good, yeah? So you're working in stability, working balance, you're working core, you're working glutes. Switch it out. We got one more switch. Right here. Sink it. And then we're just going to go into, I'll show you here. Hold it here. Lower, hold, hold. This is your 30 second extra, extra. Oh, are your legs shaking? Heads up. What do you get? Can you get sink just a bit down? You got 15 more seconds. Lose the weight if you need to. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, all we've got left is our tricep. And then we're just going to go into a little arm blaster. And then we're going to finish with some abs and you're done. All right, let's go into that tricep. So if you're on the floor, your hands are together. Elbows always stay in for a tricep. They only flare out when you're working a little bit more on the pec. All right, so arms are in. I'm gonna stay low here. Elbows stay tracking in towards my rib cage. 30 seconds. Head and neck is neutral. Push off. Use those triceps. Relax your shoulders. Don't shrug them towards your ear when you go down. If this is too intense, I'd rather see you do this on the wall. We're going to add a little something to this. Two more. Now, meet me at the bottom and hold. Relax your shoulders. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Not a whole lot of words for that. At least any clean words, right? All right, so here's what we got. All right, we are gonna go into eight, 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 eight. All right, then you're going to go into eight. So we're going to do all the arms one more time for a count of eight each rep, okay? The only thing we're not going to do is push-ups. 
Just finish that one up. All right, so here we go. Pick the poison that you want. Be working through 15s and 12s. All right, eight narrow presses. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up there. Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Hinge forward slightly. Eight rows. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I should have used my 20s here. All right, here we go. Eight, hindsight's 20, 20, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice work. All right, I'm going to go down to my 12s and I'm going to do my chest flies. All right, you just got eight here. Arms start behind in eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, we got eight. We're gonna hold that sumo. Eight center, eight outward. All right, here we go. V wide. Hold that sumo. Eight center. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Give me to the outside. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Don't go anywhere. And one. Just bring those weights down. Pulses at the bottom. Down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, head forward, six, five, four, three, two, drop the weights and hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, oh, stretch it out. Nice work. All right, just going to end with one quick ab. Oh, Woo, roll those shoulders back. I'm going to grab a quick slug of water here, and we are almost done. Okie dokie. So you will not need any weights. Huh. So the two moves that you're going to be doing back and forth here. 20 seconds a piece is going to be you're going to start with your arms crossed you're going to fly up three quarters of the way bring those arms up in a goal post press it up all right so you're just going to look like this then you're going to come up into a tabletop ridge and you're just going to march here all right too much for you stay here or give me a bridge march here all right you choose you're going to work those triceps and those shoulders one last time all right press it over Breathe in and out, 20 seconds each round, 20 seconds each, 20, 20, and then I'll tell you when we are done. Here we go. Feel go. Go pull those elbows back, open that chest. Feel that expansion going on. Yep, 10 seconds. Up. 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 Tabletop in three, two, one or bridge, hands behind your booty, lift up, march. So you work in your abs, you're working your hip flexor, you're working your quads, working your glutes, you're working your shoulders, you're working your triceps. As my dad used to say, what do you want, egg in your beer? Last four, three, two, one. Drop it down, 
Press it up. Steel goes. Remember, you're not coming all the way up. Just three quarters. Up. Lift, pull those elbows back. Fly. Are you ready for some football? Come on. Up. Nice work. Two more after this. Up, tabletop, fingertips behind your butt. Here we go, march. You will have one final round and we're done. Hold, keep that booty up. Squeeze. Four, four, three, two, one. Last round here, come on. Squeeze. So all abs here. You've taken your arms out of the mix. You're relying only on your core. Getting a nice stretch in your chest. Four, three, two, one. Here we go, last 20 seconds. Lift those hips, lift. Fingers facing forward. 15 seconds, go. Oh. Oh. Brace your abs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, first and foremost, flip, 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 flip. Good work. Nice, I'll just rotate. And rotate. Perfect job, grab a great big stretch here. Think of your pinkies coming towards each other, chin up. Ah. Bring arms up a little bit higher. And now give me a little diagonal. Bring those arms all the way overhead, grab your elbows, pull back and hold and squeeze, sit up tall. Ooh. Perfect, all right, now slowly bring those arms down. You're gonna drive those elbows into your rib cage and rotate out and out. So we're just rotating through that rotator cuff. You got it for four, for three, for two, one. Bring those fingertips behind your head, pull the elbows back and hold. Right here, you should feel that stretch. Bring your head up just a bit more. Ah, nice work. Oh, I'm feeling my shoulders, yeah? So let's just go into a reach and pull on each side. Reach over and pull down. Reach over and pull down. Two more. And last one here. And let's switch sides. <clears throat> we're gonna stretch those triceps and then we're gonna focus on our leg stretching. Two more here. And last one right here. So grab one elbow, pull it back, stretch it out. Beautiful, so there's, so since we didn't do anything major, we did just the tricep push-ups. By doing those tabletop marches at the end, it really focused on an isometric for your triceps, so it was really hitting them a secondary time. All right, shake it out, come up. Let's come on to those knees here. Let's come onto the knees and let's take our right leg out to the side. Step it out a diagonal, toe facing, out. Beautiful. So I want your gaze forward to start. I want you to hinge into that. I want you to feel that groin stretch, feel that quad stretch, roll your shoulder back, be nice and tall here. Perfect. Now see if you can inch that foot out just a tiny bit more and sink into it. Now rotate, turn, ah. So now you're gonna feel a little bit more of a rotation right into that groin area, hold it out. Yeah. Nice, just hold. Nice, now coming back to center here. I want you just to sit back and let that leg sit back in, get that stretch behind the leg. Perfect, come on up. Let's take it to the other side. Step it out, toes facing away, sink in, hold. Good, good posture, roll that shoulder back so you want your body up right here. I want you to really focus on that groin stretch. And I'll inch it out just a bit. 
The further that leg is, the more intense you're going to feel that stretch. Now rotate. Turn your body. Lower. Oh, yeah. Let's hold it out here. Nice. All right. Just coming back to center here. Now just sink down. I want your weight kind of over that straight leg. You're going to feel the stretch coming all the way under. Perfect. Awesome work. All right. Bring that leg in. Just come into a down dog here. Hike your hips. Walk your hands to meet your toes. And then pull your body up. We're just going to go into a figure four. All right. So you're going to cross one leg over. You're going to counterbalance. Sit that booty back. Point that knee down. Lift that heel slightly. You should feel a nice stretch into the back of that glute. And bring it up. Hug it into your chest. And then you're going to take it behind you. One leg, other side, and you're done. Okay, here we go. Press it over. Sink. Lift that heel. Light pressure on the front knee. Should really feel that glute. I always say follow this up with a foam roller. Excuse me, a foam roller if you need to. Hug that knee in. Pull that leg back. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that. Nice work, guys. Couple of shoulder rolls. Let's take it to a ginormous inhale. Scoop. Breathe in. Heart center. Give yourself a round. Because remember, I always say, if you don't clap for yourself, nobody else will. All over except for me. I'm always going to be in your corner. Always have your back. Hope you guys have a had a great workout. Hope you continue to get stronger every single day and stay well. I will see you soon. Bye.